Brushing your dog's teeth every day can be a very stressful task, but it is very important part of every dog's health care. Some dogs might resist out of fear, but with a little bit of preparation and patience, you can take practical steps now to change that. The steps you're about to learn are based on simple behavior modification using only positive reinforcement. Forcing your dog to submit to having his teeth brushed will only cause him to resist and become anxious at the mere sight of a toothbrush. But if you follow this easy plan, your dog will actually love his toothbrush and enjoy getting his teeth brushed. But don't rush it. It might require very short sessions spread over several days. This procedure is recommended by canine professionals, including Dr. Marty Becker and Dr. Jean Donaldson. Before you start, you'll need to have a few things on hand. You'll need a dog toothbrush, or if it's a very small dog, you can use a child's toothbrush. You can also use a soft adult toothbrush that matches the size of your dog's mouth. Um, you'll also need toothpaste for dogs. Do not use human toothpaste. Dog toothpaste is uh, made especially for dogs, uh, so do not use a human toothpaste to brush your dog's teeth. You'll also need some soft treats like peanut butter or cream cheese or squeeze cheese, something that is soft and spreadable. In addition to that, you will also need some high value treats. That is high value from your dog's point of view. You'll want to use something like rotisserie chicken or cheese or uh, something that your dog really, really would die for and does not very often get. So preparation. In addition to accepting the action of having his teeth brushed, your dog also needs to accept the restraint that accompanies that action. So this training is in two parts. The first part is desensitizing your dog gradually to having your hand placed over the top of his muzzle and gently raising his lip on each side of his muzzle so that you can expose his teeth. So this is what it looks like, the finished product. We're going to start by just desensitizing the dog to having your hand placed on his muzzle. We're going to do this gradually and we're not going to introduce the toothbrush until later on. So desensitize restraint. The mechanics of this are really important. So take your time. First you're going to just touch your dog's muzzle for a second and then with the opposite hand deliver a very high treat into his mouth. So he begins connect your hand touching his muzzle with receiving something really delicious. Once he's okay with that, you can start to increase the length of time that your hand is on his muzzle to about two or three seconds. Gently raise your dog's lip with your thumb for one second to expose the teeth on one side of his muzzle then immediately deliver a high value treat with the opposite hand. So repeat this until you can raise his lip for three to five seconds and the dog is calm and okay with it. He doesn't resist. Then go to the other side of his muzzle and do the same procedure. So you might run into problems. Uh, one thing to consider is being on the same level with your dog. So you might want to sit in a chair uh, and have your dog sitting opposite you. Um, you can also put your dog on a higher surface like a grooming table, but something that is non-slip so that he feels uh, secure and not as if his feet are going to slip and slide around him. You want to be on the same level as your dog as nearly as possible. If you have a small dog, 
you can put the dog in your lap. If your dog backs away when your hand is approaching him, you'll need to back up a little bit with this. Start by first simply touching the side of his head and then immediately giving him a treat with the opposite hand. Then gradually start to touch the top of his head, his ear, his collar, his chest, so that you're desensitizing him to having your hand reach toward his face and touch him. Now you're ready to start to desensitize the toothbrush. Start this by simply showing your dog the toothbrush and immediately handing him a treat. Now you want to have on hand a few items that are just randomly selected, anything you might happen to have around the house as long as it's not related at all to having his teeth brushed. So for example, a coffee mug, a notebook, a ballpoint pen, um, anything that you can find like that, a stapler. So you're going to repeat um, this process of picking an item up and showing it to your dog. If it's a random item, you just show it to him, pause for a second or two, and then put it back. He doesn't get a treat for that. Then, when you pick up the toothbrush and show him that, He's going to get some high value treats when he sees his toothbrush. So keep repeating this until you see that your dog starts to show some interest in the toothbrush. It starts to be associated with getting something nice, a high value treat. So next, you're going to spread a small amount of cream cheese or peanut butter on the toothbrush as if it were toothpaste and then just present it to your dog and let him lick it off. So if it's a small dog you can hold him in your lap and let him lick the treat off the toothbrush. If it's a big dog you can just present the toothbrush to him and let him lick it. Now you can start to actually brush the dog's teeth with the cheese or the peanut butter. So you start by showing him the toothbrush um, and then place your hand because you've desensitized him to having your hand on his muzzle. So gently raise his lip on one side and for a second or two just brush the treat against his teeth and let him lick the treat off of his teeth. He will all, because he's been licking the treat off the toothbrush, he will already be used to having that sensation of the bristles in his mouth. Now view your dog's mouth as being divided into four quadrants, right, left, upper, and lower. So you have the upper right, lower right, upper left, lower left. And when you start to desensitize your dog to having his teeth brushed, just do one quadrant at a time. And then uh, once he's used to that, repeat on different parts of his mouth. You're going to make this fun. Your dog should want that tasty toothbrush in his mouth. Go slowly. Take your time. You may have to spread this out over several days. Uh, it's not meant to be done all at once in one session. Now you're ready to, uh, for a little bait and switch. You're going to swap out the cheese for the dog toothpaste. Now this shouldn't be a, a big problem at all because dog toothpaste is flavored for dogs. So your dog may very well uh, enjoy the taste of the toothpaste. So you're going to go back now and repeat the same steps that you did with the cheese or the peanut butter and gradually desensitize him. This second time around it's going to go a lot faster. You won't have to take quite as much time because he's already been through this step-by-step -step process one time. So as you do this you're going to gradually increase the brushing action. You might want to brush just one quadrant at each session until your dog gets comfortable. If you follow these steps, 
Your dog should begin to enjoy having his teeth brushed. Restraint will not make him anxious or fearful. It won't cause him to resist. And the whole process should be able to be accomplished in just a few minutes. And you can do this every day and your dog will have a healthier mouth. If you have any questions, um, or if you wonder about any of these steps, feel free to contact me. It's very easy. Just go to my website and click on the Contact Me tab. Um, or you can join my a private Facebook group, and you can post a comment there. The links are here. You can uh, use any of these links and go to the website or the Facebook group. I hope you found this information valuable, and I hope it's going to help you brush your dog's teeth. Just one more thing. If you'd like to get a copy of my free ebook and discover how you can train, teach your dog good manners by doing less work and having more fun, go ahead and click on this link, and I hope you enjoy the book. Again, feel free to contact me. I am more than happy to answer any of your questions. And good luck brushing your dog's teeth.